It's day 67 of my 100 days of silver stacking. And today I've got an awesome unpacking from our great friend, Silver to Burn. Now he's been doing some awesome sand casting, some awesome pours. And I'm a big Superman fan, superhero nerd over here. And I sent some little figurines off, Superman and uh, Silver Surfer, to get done. And they've come in, and they are fantastic. So hopefully you enjoy this. And make sure you head over to Silver to Burn's channel and check them out at uh, Metals Mafia as well. Remember to check out my website, CanadianSilverSaver.com, for my exciting products, others in the community, and my wife's wonderful artwork. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and even Pinterest now. Stay tuned. Welcome back everybody, Canadian Silver Saber here, and I'm really excited to bring you today's episode because we're coming to you from my wife's art bench, which means we're doing some unpacking, and it's from a community member, Silver to Burn. So we're going to show uh, what I've got here from Silver to Burn. I uh, have pre-scored it here, I don't want to take too long with that. I'm going to check it out, and uh, what's really cool when we come from my wife's art bench is we always show off some of her wonderful art. Now, what's really appropriate here is that she did a piece of artwork here for me. I'm going to try and zoom in up to it. Yep. There we go. Sorry about the jumpiness there. So this is a piece that she did for me a little while ago. Um, I did show off some of it on the channel. It wasn't done then. You can see the gold in there, kind of like a, like a nebula or a galaxy kind of in the background. Really, really cool. Just love the detail she put into the Mandela course just and that extra kind of design the swoosh marks in it um, really cool that you did this for me and I'm a huge Superman fan despite him not being the necessarily the coolest character out there or whatnot um, there's many reasons why I've always been a huge Superman fan I grew up with the Christopher Reeve being Superman and um, he was just re such a, a cool representation of uh, Superman as well as um, Clark Kent, he did such a good representation of him. So the thing about Superman um, that's perfect about this is Silver to Burn did me uh, some Superman and uh, cast them for me, which is awesome. But Superman is important to me for a few reasons. And, um, you know, again, he's not going to be the coolest character out there. He's not going to be the, the most popular necessarily. Um, but he does represent something that a lot of other characters don't. And people say, you know, well, how come they can't tell that Clark Kent is Superman um, and I have, the, and I think the answer for that is because nobody is looking for Superman's alter ego, because Superman himself comes out there in his, you know, Boy Scout outfit, his Boy Scout attitude, attitude, and his red and blue outfit, um, his underwear on the outside, as they put it. Uh, you know, he's not exactly camouflaged. He's skin tight. He's showing off everything about himself, and his face is not covered, like the majority of superheroes out there. Most of them have their face covered, and they're representing. Uh, maybe their true self when they're in their in their superhero form or their alter ego. Um, that can be deba debatable depending on the character. But I think Superman does truly represent being comfortable with yourself, being okay with who you are, and not worrying about what people think of you. And always remember to go out there and do good things for other people, right? I think that, uh, you know, I've had a very fortunate life uh, in my later years, and, you know, my life certainly hasn't been that bad overall. Uh, and I think that... I, I, I can do what I can to give back when possible. I wish I could fly. I wish I had super strength and I wish I could save everybody's day. Um, but I just try to do what I can with, uh, you know, each day and uh, hopefully that helps out. So Superman really does re represent a lot of that to me. And let's lead into that. So here's the first Superman that was done for me by Bernie. Whoop, there he is. Let's try and get a better focus. There we go. We're actually going to move down to the table here in a second. But so Bernie, there he is. Whoop. It's having a hard time with that. So one second, we're going to pause and we'll go right under the table. All right, there we go. And the leaf there was drawn by Mr. Zeke from my wife, which is very awesome. And, uh, you know, what best wishes to you, buddy. Get better soon. Thinking about you every day. All right, so here's the Superman, that uh, the first one that he tried to do. Oh, there we go. And it's, and it's called uh, Superman Blasting Through the Clouds. And it was just the way that it poured. And we decided it. We really liked the, um, you know, kind of a look. And I, uh, he doesn't have his cape in this particular uh, interpretation, I guess, which is fine with me. Um, there's lots of things about Superman that I, I, I really like. So sometimes he doesn't have a cape. Um, 
But yeah, I thought, we thought that was really cool. It looks like he's bursting through the clouds or bursting through an explosion, uh, kind of like he's coming out of the cloud right there off the side. Um, so just a wonderful piece that he uh, sandcasted for me. And the amount of effort it takes to pour these each time, um, really, really cool um, that he puts the effort in and does that for me. So thank you so much, uh, Bernie Silver to Burn. So that's the first one. And then here's the certificate of authenticity. Uh, sandcast blasting through the clouds. Camera's a little high up today, so I'm having some focus problems. So, and here is the finished Superman um, that he got poured all nice and clean. Like, look at that. Absolutely wonderful. Let's see if I can get a little bit better focus on it. There we go. Absolutely wonderful. Such great detail in that. And then the cape. The polish on that cape. That's just crazy. Just such a wonderful, wonderful piece that he did for me. His abs. So cool. I absolutely love that. Thank you so much, Bernie. That's amazing. I'm going to find a way to put him on like a stand or something. Be pretty easy to do, I think. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't be too hard. Really, really cool. And then that one, sandcasted Superman. 24.45 grams. That one's 35 grams. Really, really awesome. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Hang on, we got to get that held on the screen. YouTube, uh, YouTube focus. Wow. Silver Superman. Look at that. Just means so much to me, and I spoke briefly about why Superman's important to me. Um, and this isn't about a competition of what's the best uh, superhero or whatnot, but uh, he's just such a, um, you know, a good representation of being comfortable with yourself. No need to hide who you are. Um, you know, and make sure you're out there helping others. Sandcast Silver Surfer, 58 grams. This one's amazing. Look at that. That is a silver, silver surfer. We left the base on there and it does stand up, which is great on that one. That's cool. Wow. Look at that. You left the fin on there too. He wasn't sure if he's going to be able to do that or not. The fin on there. Yeah, that's so cool. Sort of a bad nail there, really. I actually, uh, I'm going to speak about this a little bit later on, but I used to chew my nails and bite them right down to here. Like, way down. I have one finger. This finger here is still that I kind of hide. It's still bad because it's only been the last year, but I used to have uh, really, really low. I used to pick. I used to have a lot of stress that I... Uh, it's amazing what happens. Left the corporate world, eh? Uh, but uh, actually, I'm going to speak to it because it was something that uh, a lady recommended to me that's just a vitamin, and it stopped me... Uh, uh, what was it, zinc and vitamin B, I think, that uh, basically stopped me doing it since I was 10 years old. I was biting them down to here. It was terrible and gross. And I couldn't stop it. I couldn't know why. I had all these other habits. But anyways, <laughs> so yeah, really cool silver, sur silver surfer. I think that's absolutely awesome. There he goes. Woo! Just blown away by how you did this. Awesome. These were little uh, figurines that I had from a game that I played with my son. I used to. He's all grown up. So I'm, doing, I'm not cool right now. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Well, thank you so much, Bernie. Just some awesome, awesome stuff there. And uh, let's see if I can zoom in a bit and get it focused. Come on. There you go. Thanks for doing these for me, Bernie. They're just wonderful. You've... you've outdid yourself here you took all that extra time for me look at this it's just amazing just amazing thank you love it everybody check out silver to burn um if you're gonna have him do anything like this i have to be honest i did not pay anywhere near spot for this okay um there's a lot of effort put into this it may be a small little guy but the detail that he at the time he has to put into this he had to solder this cape back on there for me um, yeah, it was a two-part piece, like effort, 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 everybody. So if you want this stuff done, you're going to pay for it, but it's worth it. And uh, make sure when you're, as I always say now, tip your friendly neighborhood silver pourer because uh, they deserve it. They work hard. So hopefully everybody enjoyed that. Stay tuned for another video coming uh, tomorrow. Loving these 100 days of silver stacking. So take care, everybody. Canadian Silver Saver, out. Small little addition here. I uh, just add into the video here and see if I can. Sorry about the shaky hands. I don't know my tripod here handy. 
But there's the base that he came off of, and that's actually how he would have looked in the in the toy form. And uh, you'll see there. There's what he what he was before when we sent it off to Bernie. And uh, actually, let me do this here. There you go. You can see him there. You can see there's uh, him and the um, Silver Surfer as well. All of them there. That's before we sent them off to be done. And then you made them in silver. And then I just tacked it in there. A little bit of adhesive. It, doesn't, it actually kind of just rests on there, but it's, um, so it doesn't fall off. But technically, it could, could be used in the game that he comes from. But that's uh, absolutely awesome. He's on his little perch there. So cool. Just wanted to show that afterwards. Looks amazing. Thanks so much, Bernie. Take care.